Jake, defending champion of the uh, Lion of Africa Cape Town Open, uh, a nice position to be in. Uh, good memories from last year? Yes, no, absolutely. Uh, yesterday when I played the train, it was nice coming down the last couple of holes and sort of thinking back about last year. But, you know, that was last year and uh, this week's another new week. So, you know, I've learned that even if you've done well in the tournament before, it's no, there's no guarantees of, uh, of bringing that sort of um, past... Uh, performance is back, you know, it's, it's a new week and I need to start from scratch again and uh, try and get myself in contention, but uh, I come in with lower expectations than, uh, than a lot of people think thinks probably I would do. Jake, uh, it's been a bit of a mixed year, you've had some really good uh, successes, a great win at the Zimbabwe Open, but I mean by and large you're playing pretty steady golf, you can't be unhappy with your position yeah, at the moment. Yeah, it's been steady, uh, of late I would have liked to uh, get into contention a little bit more, but uh, you know, there's some one or two things that I've ironed out in my game, and uh, so it's there, you know, just waiting to sort of fall into place and uh, get the momentum going again, but yeah, it's been, been pretty steady, you know, a bunch of top 10, so it's been, it's been solid. Give us a sense of what you expect from your game uh, that you're working on at the moment that you'd like to get right. Um, oh, my, my, my ball striking wasn't quite as good uh, of late, my irons and so on, but I've, I've changed my, the line angles in my irons, so I think that's that's helped a lot. And also my putting has been a bit inconsistent, but we've been working on that, me and my coach, Doug Wood. And uh, yeah, so that's also important because even if you have a good day, you know, eating wise and if you're not converting your putts, it doesn't really help. So. But uh, everything's pretty much there, you know, there's nothing drastic off chain, so uh, I'm looking forward to the week. Give us a sense of what your, your thoughts are about the course this week and then the course generally. Uh, I, I really like the course, yeah, obviously, and uh, this, this week it's, it's the, the, the rough is up definitely more than last year. But it's supposed to be very windy, you know, and I, I like that, you know, I like to hit uh, the low penetrating wall flights, so, uh, you know, I really kind of like these, these type of conditions, but uh, I think the course is in good nick for considering the amount of rain there. Seems to have a really good feel this year as well. A couple of the guys back from Europe and, and that yeah. kind of thing. It seems to be starting to attract the kind of attention that a tournament like this deserves. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, I think Cape Town is one of the great cities in the country and it, it really does need a, a big tournament like this. And uh, it's great to see you know, four or five European players uh, committing to it, although the purse isn't actually that, that high, you know, if you consider you know, Zimbabwe is actually higher. You know? So it's great to see the guys and I think... Uh, if, if the organisers and the, and the sponsors can see you know, what, what could be possible, they can uh, try and grow the tournament even more. Jake, you look as if you've been having a bit of a losing battle with your razor. Can you tell us a bit about the promotion that the tours, uh, professionals are involved in this week? Yes, now we've, got, uh, we've got a little bit of a, a exposure for the, for the Sunshine Tour players through Cancer Awareness on Saturday as well as November. It, uh, uh, two of them together, sort of on one day, is going to be launched. Uh, well, October is already gone, but uh, it'll sort of be uh, in memory of October. We're all going to be wearing pink, all the pros, and then we're also going to start growing the moustaches. So, uh, so it's nice, you know. The the, the players want to also be uh, involved with doing something back for the for the community, and uh, you know we we have a very really nice life. We travel over and we make money from playing golf. So we'd like to try and give back a little bit and some of the pros uh, or most of the pros I think have pledged to donate uh, X amount of their um, prize money to charity on that Saturday so uh, so it's a good cause. Uh. And Jake, uh, you're not going to be one to talk up your own chances, who else in this field do you fancy? Uh -huh. No, look I mean there's a lot of guys that's been playing well uh, locally and some overseas guys also been playing well, I mean Justin and Amy have, have come with some good form. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot of good players locally as well. I mean, so there's lots of guys that could, could, could do it, you know. Um, it's a big full field, you know. So, so there's probably, a, you know, a bunch of guys that could be up there. But uh, I think the conditions are going to be quite tough. So it'll probably be, you know, the guys, more experienced guys possibly, I think. Uh.